What's up y'all? It's your girl Drea and this is the Owl's Intuition. If you're new here, hit that subscribe down below and the bell so you get notified every time I post new content. And if this resonates, give me a thumbs up and comment. Let me know the tea, baby. Okay. And I want to say thank you to anyone who has subscribed, donated, liked, shared, anything. I appreciate you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And welcome to the film. All right. So we're talking about what do you need to know right now? Every deck is going to be a different story. So you can pick more than one story because, you know, everybody got multiple shit going on in their lives. <laughs> So yeah, I don't know what's gonna come out, but it's just whatever you need to hear, you know, whatever you really need to know to the best of my ability, of course, just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. We have five piles today. We have pile number one, which is the Dream Keepers Tarot. We have pile number two, which is the Star Tarot. We have pile number three, which is the Pastel Journey Tarot. We have pile number four, which is the Moon and Stars Tarot. And pile number five, which is the Gentle Heart Tarot. Okay, I want to say thank you guys. I love you. And I will see you on the pile that you picked. Bye. What up, y'all? It's your girl. You already know. Drea. <laughs> and this is the Owl's Intuition. If you're new here, again, hit that subscribe. Welcome, welcome. Keep up with me and hit the bell so you can notify every time that I post new content. Okay, baby? And if this resonates, give me a good old thumbs up baby okay and comment let me know let me know how or why it is resonating first we are going to get your current energy to see if this is your pile if it doesn't resonate you know you can always pick another pile watch another reading or yeah you know just go about your merry day or night whatever you know what i'm saying live your life <laughs> but um yeah let's get into it what's pile number one's current energy hope oh stop spreading those rumors around stop spreading the lies there's gossip going on huh whether you know it or not there is oh man and you're just minding your damn mother freaking business and yeah you got people talking about you whatever you're creating okay you guys are my creatives just because this says artist doesn't mean that you have to be an actual artist. Well, creators are artists in their own way. Doesn't mean you have to have a paintbrush. Some of y'all could actually like be painters and stuff, but there's so many different types of arts. Like, y'all know. <laughs> Even makeup and stuff like that, that's an, a form of art. But something that you're creating, something that you're doing, something that... <sighs> It's like a passion of yours. You put your mind, body, soul into it. It's a creative venture for you. It's something that helps you to tap into your inner child. And it helps other people too. I feel like people learn from you. I feel like it inspires people. I feel like it helps people or I don't know what it is. Okay, whatever this is, people enjoy it. And, um, you know, I think it's you helping others for, through the divine well, the divine is working through you, okay? And whatever this is, it's a creation. You're co-creating with Source to make something magnificent, okay? And I feel like this is your path. This is something that, you know, you really love to do and people are talking about it. Why? What's, well, what's this gossip? We got the Ace of Wands. Yeah, there's that passion. And the King of Pentacles. So you're making money off your passion, right? And people are side-eyeing you. And, you know, the thing is, is like, this is emotionally charged. They want me to see this. I knew it was the Delatante! <laughs> Lover. Interesting. I don't know why that's popping up. But, yeah. You're... The thing about you is you have so many different talents. Right? And you're making money. You could be making multiple sources of income right now. And I feel like you walked away from certain people because they just didn't align with your mindset. They didn't align with what you were working towards or your beliefs or your perspectives, right? And your heart wasn't in these relationships or whatever it was, okay? Maybe it was like, um, could have been love or it could be friends, fam, doesn't matter. Even groups of people because, like, look, it's just, you know 
people are talking about you. People are talking about how you're making your money, how you're using your passions to make money, how some of you are actually using witchcraft to make money too. Shout out to you. But yeah, you're chasing your dreams, goals, and aspirations. You're following your heart. You're very intuitive. You're kind and compassionate. And you're doing the damn thing. And you're victorious. Six of Wands over here. You're getting recognition. And that's why people are talking about you. Some people are, are pretty upset that you're getting all this recognition for something that you're creating. And they want me to see this yeah i feel like you've been working at this for a long ass time king of swords again and the six of wands wants to come out again and the eight of pentacles bro yeah whatever this is it's like you didn't plan for this to like start to blow up the way it is but it's making you money and it's making you happy queen of pentacles and it could be attracting you a lover like people could be talking about you to others like hey yo pile number one is looking real good i think i want to make a move so just so you know if you didn't know now you know okay and they want me to see this one too pioneer yeah you're the pioneer you do this different look passion for doing and creating what has not been done before you're the one who's doing this look at this little heart whatever this idea is that you're running with Hoo baby keep doing what you're doing okay but yeah if that resonates let's get into your oracles okay pal one what do you need to hear right now you are a healer and you already know that okay but i do have the bottoms of the deck right here and it says look it's sun god too so you're definitely a star seed earth angel you already know the vibe you already know i don't gotta tell you you already know and we have boundaries here okay it's like you need to start doing energ energetic boundaries. These boundaries are not just about like, you know, you not spending time with people or you setting boundaries with people. This is like you creating fi force fields with your inner eye, your third eye, like, you know, visualizing yourself, protecting your energy, doing protection spells, doing protection incantations, protection prayers. You need to protect your energy because it makes sense because y'all are like, there's a lot of gossip. Oh, burn cloves too. They want me to tell you to burn cloves. If you burn cloves throughout your house and wherever you're at, your apartment, whatever, it doesn't matter, wherever you're staying, <laughs> it'll cease the gossip, okay? I do it sometimes when I start to feel like there's way too much energy coming, you know, maybe you need to do um, salt bath, spiritual bath. There's big energy, like a lot of energy work with this healing hands. Also, you are like we we're talking about your healer, but I do feel like grounding your energy. Cause look, there's another hand. The thing about you is your hands heal people physically. So you could do Reiki and all of that other type of energy work chi healing and stuff like that but you don't have to do it for others but you could do it for yourself to keep yourself aligned and protect your energy qigong really does help okay it really does when i do like i try to keep up with it but i'm gonna be real honest you know what i'm saying obviously no one's perfect and i don't do it every day i try to do it every day and then like some days i'll go like two days of missing it and i can see the difference in my energy in what happens and how life plays out so i highly recommend you find something if you don't want to try qigong which is super easy you can there's so many videos that um are on youtube then you can do yoga or you know just go for walks in the park or something that gets you either grounded centers your energy you need to maybe do some lymph node um massages or you know something that will clear your meridians okay those are tapping uh tapping healing you know hopo no no po i don't know hopo no po no you know you guys know the forgiveness uh i forgive you i love you hope if you know comment down below so if anyone has like does has no idea what i'm talking about and they want to try it out they can know so please comment down below guys hope no no pope yeah i'm so sorry for butchering that <laughs> but i feel like somebody needs to do that because there's big emphasis on inner child healing because we have inner child here okay you're whatever you're doing right now it is healing your inner child okay and yes you are doing it alone look at this crazy ass imagery right now it's like your dna was made for this path you were made to walk this path and you have to walk it alone and i know it looks scary you know 
got this huge being over here waiting for you like come on that's god okay source the universe whatever you want to call it all right and source is like come on baby you have to make these changes because we got five right here okay we have to make these changes we have to get balanced and we have to focus on creating a stable foundation and really making the decision to chase the bag but also invest in our passions invest in our healing invest in that inner dragon okay taming the beast within those jellyfish too jellyfish could be, be significant we have a dragon we have bees we have a goat we got you guys are busy then what you need to know is like being there's a difference with being productive and being busy i was reading in this book and he was talking about like how dr oz gets so much stuff done and he's like well i don't like I only focus on certain things and I master those things and it's like there's certain things that you know you need to do instead of just like you know let's say um you're you make videos and stuff like that you you make these videos but then you're focusing on like all this other trivial stuff when you can outsource and instead of outsourcing you're doing all that stuff leaving less energy and time for you to invest in making these videos you know you know what i'm saying it's like there's things that you need to prioritize right now in order to you know stay focused on your path but yeah you do need to make sure that you're getting your body moving and there's big emphasis because we do have orgasm right here pleasure okay if you need to all right if you ain't getting it in self-pleasure baby treat yourself and i don't mean you gotta like get yourself off some of y'all you need to you know what i'm saying but this is also you know tapping into your creativity having fun doing something that taps into your inner child and that really just gets you going gets your creative juices flowing so you know you kind of have to be fearless right now and trust your intuition because the path that you are taking is a scary path and it is not the road that is usually traveled like you got to jump over certain caverns and then climb up these stairs and that's a long journey and yeah it's it's tiring i get it and you've been on this journey for a while already so you're kind of just like bro and you might be meeting resistance because we do have resistance here and she is blowing but I, again your dna you were made for this you were and this is probably what this like gossip but there's like energies against you right now because you're blossoming, because you're going up, because you're on the right path and you're finding your way. And look, it says with the goat right here, fearless I am in the path. I choose for I never been led astray, always finding my way, regardless if you stray off your path. Okay, because there's so many different doors that could lead you to the side, even though you know that this is where you're meant to be at the top. It's like, it's okay. You will always end up on the right path because look we have the right path there's two different paths over here but going to the same castle so it's like no matter what you do right now you're going to be successful and also guys you got a connection coming in i just want you to know that and this person is going to connect to your mind body and soul and they could be a part of your soul mission you're going to build a foundation you might even build some type of legacy with this person whoa this is big energy <laughs> Is there anything else? Anything else? But yeah, um, you guys need to continue to, you know, focus on your healing and focus on whatever this is that you're creating. You're the go, okay? Keep mastering your skills and, you know, once you get to the point where you where you can outsource, do it, okay? Because yeah, I know you're you're on your own right now. But like if you can find a way, you know, there's Fiverr and stuff, you can pay other people to do things or if you know you have a friend that has a talent, ask them for some help and support. You can ask for help, ask for help because I feel like, you know, you're doing a lot and it's draining you and it's getting a little stressful, okay? You're a little busy bee over here pollinating all these flowers, but there's other bees that are here in your hive that are trying to help you make honey too. So, yeah. Or just pray. Your angels and ancestors will bring you things. You just have to ask. The thing about angels and your guides is if you don't communicate with them, if you don't ask, and they're yelling at me like, hey, bitch, you need to make sure you keep asking too, which I have been a little bit, okay? Yeah. <laughs> they're sassy today. <laughs> you guys might have like a little sassy energy. That's cute. But um, yeah, if we don't ask, 
asking you shall receive you know what i'm saying but if you don't like ask them like yo can you help me with this protection or can you show me what i need to know or can you know because before you go to sleep too they're telling me this oh especially if you're watching this when i'm dropping this in the month of september 2023 because dreams, well, whenever you're watching this, you could be receiving a lot of messages through your dreams. Pay attention to your dreams. Write down your dreams. Interpret your dreams in your own way. Dreams, I know they might be crazy, but at the end of the day, it is your subconscious speaking to you in ways that only you will understand best. Okay, yeah, you can have other people try to interpret it. You can Google stuff. But in the re at the end of the day, you deep down know and you might have to sit on it, meditate, journal about it, whatever. Get a dream journal for sure for you guys. Okay, but let's get into your tarot. Okay, guys, so there's something that you you really missed from the past you know you were all up in your head trying to dissect something that was going on it was like head over heart okay head over heart because look at this like i think that's pretty much her heart at the top did i not autofocus <gasps> i can't believe i didn't do it <laughs> something happened that you couldn't believe okay and i don't know what that was but whatever it was what, what's that about it has to do with romance because i had the king of cups in reverse so somebody who was emotionally unavailable or emotionally manipula manipulative take whichever one resonates but we have this four of cups right here and it's like heart over no mind over heart you gave a lot of pieces of yourself and it was like you were trying to you know you were trying to you were trying to get something that you wanted since you were younger whole time whoever this was because this is about love pretty sure it's about love because we have the uh, six of cups we have the knight of cups and then we have the four of wands in the reverse followed by the two pentacles over here with the wa queen of wands and the empress <laughs> yeah so um let's talk about this whole story there is some type of situation from your past that you didn't really see clearly because it was like maybe past trauma was really fogging this whole situation up and instead of listening to you know both your head and your heart you were focused on one solely one and it really it really kind of messed you up because it allowed you to get manipulated somebody was manipulative in this situation and they used emotions they used charm they used pizzazz to get you to do what they wanted you to do you found out what the hell was going on you saw through this situation only to be hurt only to realize that this situation was a little chaotic something wasn't giving some it caused you an imbalance and it really caused you to stop looking at yourself at as who you really are we have the star here we have the queen of wands we have the empress male or female you are abundance you're sexy <laughs> you're beautiful you're handsome and you're abundant you're a go-getter you're a hard worker and you deserve the best and i feel like right now you're kind of focusing on healing after this situation that happened in the past you're focusing on you know trying to have a deeper connection with your uniqueness you may be resting sleeping more having trouble sleeping and sleeping in the day or you know it's like you're really kind of like self sufficient right now like you have people in the background yeah but it's like you're really just kind of like trying to like figure shit out on your own and i feel like you're about to get your justice okay somebody is trying to come back and the thing is is like they whatever they're trying to offer it's dead to you it's like it's not it's not what you want it's not something that's going to justify the situation. It's not something that's going to rectify the situation. Whatever this was. This doesn't have to be romantic, but a lot of you guys, it is. Okay? Just, if you're still here, obviously, it's, it's resonating in some way. But <clears throat> somebody caused chaos in your life, and they tried to... Um, they try to they're trying to manifest you right now back into their life. Because I just said that. But they tried to manipulate you. 
They tried to get in your head, distract you from what you were chasing. They tried to manipulate you to distract you from your goals, your dreams, and af uh, aspirations if it's not romantic, okay? So that's for those who are not on the romantic um, spectrum. But either way, somebody manipulated you, put, put on this mask, you saw through them, you did what you needed to do. Because I have the Eight of Cups, but it's in reverse here, right? With the Nine of Pentacles in so it was like this person wanted you to be codependent and wanted you to not be able to walk away but you know some type of communication happened or some type of argument some type of situation happened that caused a, a painful ending right something happened and here we go every time i see this temperance 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 this person's a temptation to you but look like this person is literally giving they have one piece left and this person has an overflow of pieces and that's what you did in whatever this situation was you know this person didn't really give you the love that you needed three of swords right there boom boom bitch sorry <laughs> you ain't a bitch obviously but you dubby bitch okay yeah knight of wands this is somebody who was like in and out or they just got kind of like here for just here for a good time not a long time okay this is still a wish fulfillment you know you you had good times with whatever this situation was or whoever this was but i have to i can't knock the fact that this person did manipulate you causing a rift in this connection causing the foundation to break down you know and it really comes down to the fact that they weren't authentic they portrayed themselves as one way, but in reality, they were not who they were portraying themselves. Or in reality, there was something going on behind the scenes, and then you started to see it in peep game, and a lot of you guys cut this person off. And now you're healing, and you're rebalancing yourself, recalibrating yourself, and you're realizing who the hell you are. And I feel like you did the right thing, but it's like, you're still kind of like, I don't know, what is this energy? Yeah, you're still kind of like, oh, this didn't work out because of me. Maybe it's something about me and my emotions and da 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 da. Or, you know, I should. Whoa! <laughs> I should give this person a chance um, to, like, come back because maybe they are this King of Pen Pentacles. Maybe they are maturing. Maybe they are changing, you know? Maybe I should be more compassionate and understanding. You're trying to flip your perspective. You're trying to understand this because you're kind and compassionate. So now you're here at a stalemate when this person still with the seven of swords here is still being deceptive. And they want me to see this, the Hierophant. Yeah, because look, this person is two-faced. We got two faces behind this woman. Hello. You know what? I'm sick of you. But. <laughs> not you but that that's probably how you feel about this situation i'm getting like when this person texts you you get aggravated or when this person calls you you get aggravated you're like oh my god again and you're like you kind of just want this to end now we have the sun yeah you just want to be happy bro you just want to be happy sis so not the sun and the moon divine feminine divine masculine energy over here the thing is, is like this person at the end of the day, it's like it's just not going to work because of the fact that this person is low key selfish and they be lying about shit. And, you know, in order for you to boost your whole life in general, including your finances, you kind of have to just put yourself out there, but not towards this person. OK, because this person will only make you unhappy. You need to invest into yourself because if not, you're going to keep continue to block the blessings. OK, but yeah. I don't know what that's about, y'all. We're going to call it there. <laughs> I love you guys, and I hope you have an amazing day, night, or whatever. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye. What up, Pama Batsu? It's your girl. Drea. And this is the Owl's Intuition. You guys are party. Like, the life of the party, and you don't even have to do anything or say anything. So we're going to get your current energy, okay? If you're new here, hit that subscribe -y. And if this resonates, comment down below. Let me know the tea, okay? And, yeah, give me a thumbs up if this resonates. So we're going to get your current energy first to see. Wow, that was a beautiful shuffy. <laughs> to see what's popping with y'all and see if this is your pile if it's not you know you can pick another pile you can choose another reading or you know just go about your beautiful lovely day and or night or whatever let's get it pile number two what's the current energy hermit wow you guys are like i'm staying to myself
baby, I don't need no one else. I don't know what that is. <laughs> one, one, one. Detective. Something's going on. Let's see. Companion. <gasps> what's happening here? Holy shit. Okay. Let me really get into this energy because, like, what's the tea, baby? <laughs> Alright, we got detective. We got femme fatale. We got poet. Somebody's trying to smooth talk their way out of a situation and you're not buying it, baby. Falsifying. Somebody's lying. Somebody's lying. And whatever these lies are, they made you go and take a step back. You're like, I had to go in my man cave or woman cave. I had to go into my mind palace. That kind of vibe. What is happening here? What's this detective about? Because I need a little bit more clarification. Loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. Somebody had the audacity. Somebody had the audacity. There's a betrayal. Somebody was trying to control you. Great powers. Observation, intuition. Intuitive, because we have truth right here. And then betrayal. Loss of personal identity. Can you tell me what the fuck is going? Queen of Pentacles. Two of Wands. So somebody is, is really, okay. Yeah, you, because now that's why you're really in this, like, this hermit mode because of the fact that something was going on and whatever it was, it was, it was like somebody who you felt was a companion. Look at the thief coming through. Bitch. Somebody was trying to steal your shit, bro. Sheds light on the potential wealth within you can never be that can never be stolen, which is proof. Like, whatever this person was trying to do... I'm hearing they're getting their karma and they can't they couldn't get away with it they thought they had you in the bag they thought you had had you like you know finesse they thought they could control you stealing money creative ideas affection and other powers you think you lack what's this green card avenger in the reverse what the hell does that say resorting to violence in the name or cause of in the name of a cause yeah I don't know, somebody was, was, was real deal trying to act like this smooth operator, okay. <laughs> In reality, they were just really trying to, you know, use their words to manipulate you. Somebody was really emotionally immature, pro projected their insecurities onto you because that was their way of controlling you, made you go hermit, and, you know, they tried to steal the spotlight in some way. This has to do with another person they don't have to be a companion some of y'all it could be romantic you know what i'm saying like this person started to get insecure so because they were getting insecure they might have started to pick a fight or like you know what i'm saying like if you're around a group of people like your friends or you're on a double date this person would like try to like victimize you or something but this could be at work too like whatever whoever this is could be a friend family member somebody was trying to falsify the falsify some information trying to make you look bad on purpose and make you insecure using their words because they're intimidated by you because they see how much power you have they see how focused you are on you know creating your life they see that you're the emperor but they don't want you to believe that you're the emperor and they don't want you to move forward because they <laughs> They feel as though if they make you not love yourself or make you doubt your, your power or your abilities, they'll get the power. When in reality, they can't do that. That makes absolutely no sense. And they're only hurting themselves because you're very protective. So if that resonates at all, what the hell? This is your pile. Let's get into your oracles. Okay, guys. You are a god. You are a goddess. And you're going through a rebirth, okay? Someone really tried to trap you in your head. Somebody really tried to make you insecure, whether it was knowingly or unknowingly. And I feel like with the detective that we were talking about in your current energy, whoever that person was, I feel like this person really is threatened by your power. They're trying to, you know, act like they're on your side. They're trying to act like, you know... Like, they don't want to steal your crown. Like, they don't want everything that you have. I'm hearing this person is, like, kind of jealous of you. And, you know, it. it is what it is. Like, it's not like this person... Well, this person actually is trying to, you know, steal your crown. 
because they see you're a divine being, but they don't possess exactly what you have. And you've been through so much. This is literally like, this situation tore your heart out. Literally tore your heart out. Like, look, go on. And it's like, not even just this situation, but multiple situations throughout your life, throughout your past. And you know, you've done a lot of energy work You've done a lot of healing. You've let go of a lot of things, okay? You've been through a lot of sorrow. And you continue to rebirth. You continue to become that phoenix. And you continue to put your crown back on after it gets knocked down by all of these people that continue to re-enter your life in different bodies. I guess you can say you've had friends, you've had lovers, family members. People just trying to bring you down, cause you insecurities because... <sighs> Deep down, you know who you are. You know that you're not meant to take a, a route that is usually traveled. You're meant to take a different route. You're t meant to take a more spiritual route. You're meant to tap into your spirituality more. You're meant to be your truest self and put your truest self out there. You're meant to take risks. You're meant to trust your intuition. You're meant to take care of your mind, body, and soul. And I feel like somebody is messing with your mind somebody is trying to mess with your mind okay somebody's trying to keep you stuck in the matrix because look at all these ones and zeros somebody's trying to keep you stuck in the simulation but you already broke out so you're aware of it and i'm not sure like <laughs> if this who this person is right but I do feel like at the end of the day that you are meant to receive massive amounts of abundance. We have green man. All I desire comes to me easily and effortlessly. I know this to be true for I am abundant in all that I do. You're going to be successful no matter what. Even if this person tries to, you know, bring up your past demons and stuff like that. This is your rite of passage. You were meant to do this. You were meant to create this. You were meant to be fierce in this situation. And no matter what this person excuse me <laughs> this person has no control over you yeah they may have finessed the situation here and there by making you feel insecure or projecting their insecurities onto you or telling you like why are you doing that or should you really do that or oh you know it's like they would judge you in any way shape or form and this is your message to leave this alone don't waste your time don't waste your breath okay you're going to have to love this person from a distance because this person is trying to block your blessings because they can't go after their own. And there are people out there because they don't chase their dreams and goals and they see other people doing it. They're like, oh, if I'm not going to do it, then I'm damn sure going to make sure that you can't do it. Instead of putting that energy and potential into creating their life like you're doing, which is honestly ridiculous, but people do do that. So I want you to know that no matter what, you continue to be in your power. You continue to be your true authentic self. And know that abundance is your birthright. No matter what these people send to you, you're very much protected. Because again, you are a divine being. You are outside the matrix. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And you have the support of certain people that you can trust. And you have the support of your angels, God, source, ancestors. So just know that people do love you and the right people will be aligned with you. But you need to trust your, your intuition when energies start to shift. How does your energy feel when you're around certain people? Pick up on those animosities, pick up on those side eyes, pick up on the body language, see through certain situations and move accordingly, aka move away. So yeah, let's get into your tarot to get some more guidance on this situation. Okay guys, somebody's trying to cause an emotional imbalance in you. They're trying to make you unhappy. They're trying to distract you from, you know, building up your wealth or working on your, your goals and dreams. Straight up like that. Because, I don't know, maybe it, you cut them off. Whatever happened here, there was some type of pain that happened. So somebody is trying to cause an imbalance. 
whether it's through um, esoteric vibes for some of you if you're into that or like you know about people or you were friends with people who did that or whether it's just like they're literally trying to sabotage you like this could be a co-worker you're trying to get a promotion you've been working really hard and this person is spreading rumors about you at work or messing with your projects or you know what i'm saying it's that kind of vibe it's like somebody is trying to win and it's to your detriment they're trying to you know it's like everybody could win here it's really not that deep and it's not that serious like everybody has their own path but for some reason this person doesn't want you to win at your path it's like they want your path they're like i like your choices i like your path better i just want to be you like can we just switch souls like that's not how life works okay figure out your own shit i'm sorry but whoever this person is they're tapped and you know you've been working long and hard you've been transforming you've been healing you've been connecting you've been learning to embrace your uniqueness things that you didn't love about yourself before you're starting starting to learn how to love yourself now and it's like you know, you've been trying to heal these generational curses and, you know, blossom and bloom and, you know, create a legacy for your future generations, for your family, trying to connect with your soul family, your soul tribe, trying to like, you know, it's, it's big emphasis on you're really focused on yourself. Okay. You're not really focused on romance or anything like that. You're just trying to like build up a foundation so that you can start to like maybe maybe travel and explore and then start to date. And you know, you want to tap into your creative ventures. But right now it's like, you know, like I got to build up my finances first, you know, in order for me to travel, in order for me to create, in order for me to do whatever this is that you're trying to do, you know, that you have to build a, a solid foundation that, um, can fund whatever this is right so you're going lone wolf and because you went lone wolf this person or these people they're watching you and they're trying to mess up your whatever it is that you're trying to work on because you don't communicate with them somebody took shit personal somebody took shit personal so again y'all need to y'all need to just make sure that you focus on your inner peace work on your solar plexus and you know continue to focus on healing you're gonna be okay the thing about it is is like if someone tries to project onto you like let's say you're having a bad day at work or uh, no actually let's say this person's having a bad day at work and they see you come in and you're happy-go-lucky you know and they start snapping at you or like trying to start shit ignore them they're doing this shit on purpose they see that you're happy. They don't like it because they're like, it's not fair that Pal 2 gets to be happy, but I'm not happy. It's not fair that two, Pal 2 gets the abundance, but I don't get the abundance. It's not fair that Pal 2 gets the lovers and I don't get the lovers. Like, it could even be like a jealous friend. You guys are at a party or something like that. And somebody's like trying to hit on you and this person is like starts talking shit to you or like trying to make you look bad and stuff like that i'm just getting like there's a person who's trying to make you look bad because they want your life or they want like what you have or what you're going for and they know that you're going to get it they know that you're going to be successful so they're trying to stop it at all costs and it's really heartbreaking you know because i feel like you know exactly what this is and it breaks your heart because now this is either your confirmation or like you're just like putting two and two together because of the situation you're like oh wow this person really is doing this and it's like it's sad because you know they're is unconditional love here but also it's like <sighs> I feel like the way f that you feel for this person they don't feel that same way for you like you don't even especially if this is like a co-worker like you don't have no animosity there's no type of I, I want this person's job or like I'm trying to like da -da 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 -da. you're just chilling you're doing your job you're focused on yourself but there's a, there's people or this person is super focused on you and super focused on what you're investing in and you know what it is it's like they want to steal your destiny but they're lazy they're not gonna they're not willing to put in the work that you do or they're not willing to do what you do in order to get whatever it is that you have or what you're going to get so it's like, what's the purpose in trying to stop somebody when they're willing to do the work and you're not? You're not going to get what they, they were going to get. So, and Pal 2 is going to get it regardless. So I just want to say that even if there's delays, 
because it seems like there has been delays or it seems like there may have been times where you got triggered or when you know things happened or unhappiness happened i feel like some of them were setups and some of them you know they just it just happens that way because this person could be evil eyeing you or like you know sending you negative energy or talking shit you this is a similar thing like up your spiritual protection pray to god source your angels your ancestors pray and ask for protection 555 or you know do something different you know do what you need to do burn a protection candle keep up with your spiritual cleansings and baths and stuff like that or keep your moves silent move in silence because whatever this is that you're trying to create these people are trying to watch and see your every move just move in silence so that they can't block your success because regardless at the end of the day you're going to be successful no matter what okay just keep going regardless of the delays regardless of like you know if things don't work out for a little bit just trust that they will because no matter what you can't be stopped i'm here i can't stop da, 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 da. <laughs> but yeah no you can't and you won't stop why am i hearing pump 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 it up okay joe budden but yeah i don't know maybe someone has a podcast too and someone might come there's emphasis on like whatever you're creating or doing like especially like if you're um on social media and stuff it's like they're watching whatever you're working on or what you're doing and they may be commenting or like you know trying to like do things to make you like feel like oh maybe i should give up on this or like they may talk shit under like a fake account or something like that just to mess with you so just be aware of that okay but i love you guys i hope you have an amazing day night or whatever and i'll see you on the next one bye what up pile number three it's your girl drea and this is the owl's intuition pile one and pile two we're, we're pretty intense so i can't wait to see what the hell comes out for you guys we're talking about what do you need to hear right now if you are new and not subscribed hit that subscribe down below and the bell so you get notified every time i post new content and if this resonates you know give me a thumbs up and comment okay baby i'm here for it all right but we're gonna get your current energy then we'll tap into your oracles and close you out with some tarot Pile three's energy, current energy. Ooh. Pile three's current energy. Interesting. Some of you guys could have came from another pile. We have Avenger at the bottom of the deck. Let me see this too. Interesting. Yeah, very, very interesting. Some of you guys could be content creators. You could have your own business could just have a large following or just be known worldwide <laughs> mr worldwide <laughs> pitbull <laughs> all right let me stop not the kiki ain't no way okay all right, all right all right all right you guys are funny i like your energy okay pile number three what's your current energy so you're freeing yourself you're regaining balance into your life okay you're reconnecting with society you may have like been hermit you may have you know been really possessive of your energy like really like i need to go on my own journey right now i need to go through these motions i need to feel what i need to feel i need to knock out what i need to knock out and i need to cut off what i need to cut off and i need to do it alone and you did what you needed to do and now it's like excuse me you're learning how to release negativity you're learning learning how to process things you're learning how to be kinder to yourself you're learning how to communicate with those who you love okay maybe some of you guys may struggle to text or like struggle to keep up with your loved ones sometimes because you get kind of like tunnel vision so you really kind of like you know you pull yourself away from society and grind 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 thus sabotaging other areas of your life because you're causing an imbalance and it could even affect your health it's like you guys kind of struggle with balance sometimes because when you want a goal or you want something you you will get it at all costs sometimes to your detriment so you're finally releasing those self-destructive behaviors right like yes <laughs> you have a desire a burning desire you're very obsessed with it but it's like you're finally learning how to like okay well i can take these actions to get my 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 do desires some of y'all are entrepreneurs or you're creatives regardless because i have the deletant you have you have multiple paths yeah look at this artist 
no hedonist interesting you guys are very beautiful and handsome as well yeah so that could be also another reason why you're very much known a lot of people really like to look at you some of y'all could be models or you just look like a model. You don't have to be a model. But we do have poet here, so it's like you, you verbalize really well. You guys, the way you talk, you could be writers, poets too as well, obviously. But I'm getting big content creators. You know, you could really have a beautiful voice. Could even be a singer. But the way you talk, an actress I heard. Some of y'all could be actors or actresses. At the end of the day, you were going through a lot. You were facing your fears. You were fighting your demons. And, you know, you had to fight off other people who were wearing masks behind the scenes and all that stuff. Trying to, like, block you from whatever this creative venture is. Which is why you kind of had to go by yourself. Because you realized that certain energies around you were kind of, like, sabotaging you. And it's not to say that they were doing it on purpose. It kind of just happens like that sometimes. They were distractions. And it got to the point where you literally took out all distractions <laughs> and now it's like you're re-entering society so if that resonates at all then let's get into your oracles some of you guys have really really beautiful hair this is just random you could have luscious curls or waves red hair brown hair black hair and braids there's emphasis on braids yeah or you could have like your hair dyed yeah i think you do really nice designs so the thing about you guys is that you really have to believe in yourself, okay? Because there's a lot of energies around you that you need to clear out. You have been, okay? You've done that. But I feel like, you know, whatever this was, it was chaotic and it kind of like tainted your view on yourself. So it's now time for you to do some self-love, self-care practices, and trust in your path and trust in your power and trust in the divine, you're extremely unique. You've been through a lot of karmic cycles. You've closed them out. You've made the changes. We have a mirror number here too. Some of y'all could be on a journey. You know what I'm saying? If you know, you know. But I feel like, you know, you're creating your heaven on earth right now. You have a lot of eyes on you. You're blossoming. You're blooming. You could also be an earth angel or have divine siren energy baby okay all i'm saying is that like when you look into people's eyes you make people really uncomfortable because you invoke some type of feeling <laughs> in them whether it's intimidation whether it's arousal whether it's everything in between <laughs> i don't know but yeah i feel like it's time for you to nurture yourself though like you've been grinding you've been like just healing you've been you know going through the motions and and now it's time for you to trust that you've put in the work necessary it's time to surrender to the flow let go and just trust whatever that doesn't serve you will fall away and you know you'll close those cycles out if it's not meant for you you know ask god source the angels whatever is not meant for me please remove it from my life if it does not serve me or my highest and best good i ask that you remove it from my life two 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 once you do that and you just let go and trust i promise you things that you'll never expect people that you'll never expect will fall away from your life making room for what you really desire but you have to change your perspective in regards to this grind, grind, grind. You could be seeing 555, 444, and 777, and 222, because I just said that. Yeah, definitely 777, but it's like, the divine is clearing a path for you right now. The divine is supporting you. You are ascending. You could be going through ascension symptoms. If you are and they're feeling like it's too much, like you feel drained, you feel like you're getting headaches, you're having trouble sleeping, put some crystals under your pillow. Put some baking soda and salt in your water, you know, a large amount of water, and focus on, damn, what the hell was I going to say? Focus on asking, like, can these downloads be easier? Can these downloads, I also want to say you have a big team. You're highly supported and highly protected. So I don't know if you doubt that. There's big emphasis on doubt in your spread right now. Like I feel like you doubt, you know, there's cause with this trust, it's like, you don't know, you know, when something bad happens, some of you guys may get a little reactive or overreact or start thinking like, this is the end of the world, or this is the end of my life. Or like, now look at this, like, this is why I can't have nothing nice. Or, you know what I'm saying? This is the other shoe dropping. But in reality, sometimes these things happen because they're meant to happen. 
every time I think about this, it's like when I got into my car accident, that was the journey that, well, that was the event that started my spiritual awakening. We never stop having spiritual awakenings, of course. But that, if I didn't like go through that, I was going down the wrong path, baby. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah. But again, this is also about belief, okay? If you believe, whatever you believe shall come to manifest. Whatever you think about shall come to manifest. You have to be careful about what you think about yourself, what you think about your life, and what are your programs, okay? Because what you think and what you believe will f become what you do in the habits that you interact in and the people that you have 444 you know what i'm saying if you believe that you are clumsy like i used to all the time you will fall and trip and all that stuff when i stopped believing in that or claiming that energy okay by reiterating it like oh i'm so you know i'm so clumsy i used to say it all the time thus the universe was like i bet i got you so there's big emphasis on that i don't know what you may be saying if it's a joke or not the universe will not take it as a joke don't say stuff Okay? Like you're young and then you're like, oh, you know, I'm so old. I feel so old or something like that. Do not say that because then the universe will be like, okay, let's speed up your aging process. Because don't you notice that certain people will be the same age and then some people look younger and then some people look older? You ever question that? They're on a different spectrum. They believe in different things. And maybe you guys need to read the book or listen to the audio. It is, it is on YouTube. I think it's called The Power of Belief. It's such a good book. Um, I listen to the audio because if I don't have the book, then I listen to it on YouTube like while I'm in the shower and stuff. Oh, The Power of Awareness is the one I'm actually um, listening to right now by Neville Goddard. That's also a good one. The Power of Belief. Who is that by? Yeah, it's on YouTube, The Power of Belief, and it is by Claude Bristol, okay? So yeah, it's a pretty quick one too, or it's actually The Magic of Believing. Apologies. But yeah, your beliefs, your beliefs, they create your reality because what you believe, then you achieve, okay? So if you can achieve, you can, you know, if you believe, you can achieve. Like, that's a cliche, right? But... I think all cliches have some truth, just as conspiracy theories do, but I digress. At the end of the day, you need to take care of yourself. You don't have to work hard. If that's your belief, you know, it's time to reprogram yourself. You know, maybe there's some affirmations that you can say, like, I make money easily and effortlessly and stuff like that. You need to start focusing on affirmations. And when you say these affirmations, feel them in your heart because the feeling is the secret. And I know you already know this stuff. But maybe this is a reminder. Maybe you forgot or you stopped practicing things like gratitude or meditating and stuff like that. You know? But yeah, let's get into your tarot. Pal 3, you are very kind, compassionate, intuitive, abundant. You're a master manifester. But there is something in regards to your emotions that you're holding in, holding on to. Okay? could have to do with something or someone that you walked away from, right? It could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, okay? And you chose to turn your back on this situation, and I feel like it was hard for you, okay? But you're still holding on to that energy. You're, that energy is still within you, okay? In order to get your justice, in order to be able to be clear-minded and manifest what you need and what you deserve you need to process whatever those feelings and emotions are in order to step into your divinity step into your emperor or empress energy because i have both here and i have the magician and the high priestess it's like big emphasis on divine <laughs> counterparts but not even just that because i have the justice here it's making me think big emphasis on balancing your divine feminine and your divine masculine energies making them work focusing on your divine feminine your divine masculine and your connection to source god almighty the universe mother gaia but yeah you need to build an emotional rapport, an emotional connection with yourself. You need to check in with yourself. How am I feeling today? Ask yourself that. Get used to asking yourself that in the morning. 
you know because you want to feel good because when you feel good you manifest things people circumstances and situations to reiterate that feeling you know the elites always talk about feeling good you have to feel good now the feeling is a secret right like i was just talking about earlier but the thing is is like yes you're not always going to feel good but if you're feeling terrible all the time and you don't really understand why like you wake up in a bad mood and stuff like that it's because of the fact that you have not processed or released certain traumas or emotions from past situations i know you guys want to you know travel explore create build a legacy right you want to be able to do things and have fun and manifest you know your life partner, friends, a deeper connection to yourself, source, and your family, and all that good stuff. But the thing is, is you have to make room for that energy. So intuitively you know that you need to balance or ca recalibrate. Maybe you need to do s some um, somatic exercises that'll help you to release trauma. Okay, Google that, look it up on TikTok, Instagram, whatever. YouTube, you can find certain exercises that'll help you to release the trauma. There's also breath work that you can do to release. And there's a lot of things that, but you need to do something to process. Shadow work. There's a shadow work journal that you can get off TikTok as well, 333. If you don't have TikTok, then you can Google it, see if they have it on Amazon, whatever. It, there's going to be something. Or you can look up prompts, Pinterest. But there's big emphasis on shadow work, you know, because no matter how much money you have, if you still have this black cloud in your energy, in your aura, you're not going to be satisfied. You can do whatever you want, but this journey will not be easy. It'll be your fate. Like, look at the face of this moon. Like no matter what they're going on this journey they're leaving behind like all that doesn't serve them they have everything they need and yet they still are discontent because of that cloud that emotional cloud that they have not walked away from they kind of just turn their back on it but it's still floating right behind them aka you you know what i'm saying so you know what you need to do and it's not going to be easy but once you get started, a lot of you guys need to have a good cry for some of you. Like some of you guys, you don't cry and you need a good cry. Some of you guys, you need to write, you need to journal, you need to do some inner child healing or an inner child meditation to really help you process, you know, or self-love meditation or manifestation meditation and listening to affirmations. And um, these affirmations, also, you could listen to some subconscious reprogramming affirmations while you sleep to help to reprogram your subconscious because I do feel like, you know, that's a big part of this as well. Anything else? Yeah. You need to tap back into, like, some type of fun creative venture or something that you t used to love to do when you were a child again too to help you to feel a little bit more happy grounded and safe and secure because you are safe and you are loved but i know that there's things from your past that you know still come up and block you from feeling that because you're still feeling that dark cloud of whatever happened or whatever trauma that you you know haven't processed from your past and it could be even that you may need to do a hypnosis so that they can like help you 555 to re like you know to really feel or see like what happened to you because there could be traumas that you just stuffed away when you were a child that you know you, you don't even know that are in there you know and that's what needs to be released but yeah that was deep all right pile number three i hope you have an amazing day night or whatever and i'll see you on the next one bye what up pile number four it's your girl dran it's the owl's intuition if you are new here hit that subscribe down below and the bell so you get notified every time i post new content and if this resonates again give me a little thummy thumb thumbs up and yeah come and let me know the tea baby i'm here for it okay so we're gonna get your current energy then we will tap into your oracles and close you out with some tarot we're talking about what do you need to hear right now but first let's get pile fours 
current energy. Okay. You're working on something big. Whoa. You're working on something big. You have pure intentions. You're very much inspired. Okay, we're going to keep these. All right. Bottom of the deck is Liberata. Emancipate yourself from mental slavery. Some of you guys may have suffer from anxiety, depression. But you know, you're working through it. You're doing what you need to do. Okay. But you're highly spiritual and highly connected and that could be the cause. You know, you could have psychic abilities that might make you a little cuckoo because you don't know how to regulate them. Okay? So, let's talk about it. <laughs> What's your current energy? Right now, you're freeing yourself from your old thoughts, your beliefs, your negative thought patterns. You're freeing yourself. You're coming out of depression and anxiety. You're healing you're becoming more compassionate to yourself and you're re you're literally raising your vibration you're trusting your intuition you're seeking out what truths you desire and you're rebuking whatever used to be a truth for you to 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 because you're like no that I, I don't claim that shit no more you're choosing how you want to live you're living consciously you're living by your means you're being becoming your own god your own universe you're co-creating with god in the universe you're understanding that what you do and what you put out and what you believe manifests and um you're really inspired and you're taking action towards something that you're, you're really like you planted a seed but now it's like you know whatever was this situation this depression this anxiety or whatever it was blocking you from investing into or watering this tree or you know what i'm saying it's like you didn't have time to take care of your plants because you had to take care of yourself but now you have the energy and now you have time to you know work on more than one project to water more than one plant okay you also gained a lot of knowledge throughout that situation throughout whatever it is that you were going through okay but you've been going through a lot of healing now you're able to chase after your passions you're healing your mind your body and your soul and now you're helping others to do the same a lot of you guys you don't have to heal people you heal people by your actions you heal people by your stories you heal people by showing them you're a leader you lead by example and thus as you continue to heal and tell your story the thing about you guys is you have to tell your story and i feel like a lot of you do you could have a social media presence a podcast or something like that or you could just talk to people about everything you know some of you guys are in therapy, but I do feel like, you know, you've been taken advantage of by a lot of people throughout your lifetime. And, you know, you ignored the red flags, but then now you, you're, you're like, ah, 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 and you see through everything because you're trusting your intuition. You see who has masks around you or who's trying to take advantage of you because you have immense power. We can't, got God here. Hello. So you guys are very powerful healers and psychics and spiritualists whatever you want to call it labels don't really matter you know because you guys have some type of talent some type of god-given gift that you're meant to put out in the world and meant to allow many well, i was gonna say millions so some of you it could be millions whether it's you you write a book you create a movie, you have your podcasts, you have your TikTok, you have your YouTube, you have your Instagram, whatever it is. You help people in your community, you have a club, you have a, you gotta get on your Zoom, you know, I'm hearing that. <laughs> it doesn't matter, but you guys know that you're, you have a big purpose to help people, but the way that you're meant to help people is, you know, helping yourself first and then talking about how you helped yourself first, how you overcame your mental illnesses, how you overcame your trials and tribulations, you know, how you broke patterns of addiction or whatever it is, because it's going to be different for all of you. Whatever you liberated yourself from, you're meant to tell your story. You're meant to show people like, yeah, so this is how I did it. And yeah, and you're meant to tell people and be real about it. Like, yeah, you know how many times I fell, but I got back up every time and the same shit's gonna happen to you but yeah so if that resonates in any way shape or form you guys are dope okay <laughs> let's get into your oracles ain't no way guys 
You had a god, and then you have sun god. When I tell you, you guys are immensely powerful. Shit, it says, come all, come now, expand into the skies and into the shadows below. It's like, as above, so below, as within, so without. Your inner world is changing. <laughs> you are bound to a mental prison. You are bound to escaping the present moment. But now, you're slowly getting back into becoming present. We, there's <laughs> big emphasis on honey, okay, and um, we have compassion again. Wasn't you guys we were talking about compassion? I don't know, but at the end of the day, some of you guys, you know, you're releasing the cords that you were calling you towards addiction. You were very much attached to something. Be it social media, be it a person, be it drinking, smoking, be it eating, okay? It was something that was a vice for you, 111, because of the fact that it helped you to escape your thoughts. It helped you to escape, you know, depression. It helped you to escape whatever negativity was in you. And you finally have released that. And if you haven't, you're about to. Continue doing what you're doing, okay? <sighs> so this, I want to, I, I don't know why, but I feel called to clarify this love spell. What's this love spell? Interesting. We have drama, knight of swords, and the ace of swords. Understanding. So somebody who you, okay, this is random, so only take this as it resonates. Some of you guys fell or felt like you were deeply in love with somebody, Okay. I'm hearing low-key obsessed like I heard obsession like you know but this this situation you need to walk away from because it's only gonna bring you heartbreak or it already did it brought you heartbreak chaos you weren't trusting your intuition you know this person whatever the situation is they're trying to entice you okay honey can still attract flies and I feel like this person is trying to put a spell on you okay because they want to bring drama into your life <laughs> so just be careful because I don't know what that's about yeah somebody's trying to bring a tower to you because of the fact that you're transforming because of the fact that you're coming out of this you know burden some time that you were in okay you were at a crossroads you were stuck and stagnant for a long time and people were watching and making sure that you were still in that vibe you know and you were taking the time and you took some time for solitude and healing and now you're coming back out with the knowledge that you needed and you know these people are coming in you know trying to like celebrate you but in reality they're going to deceit you because all they want to do is bring that drama that drama drama so just be careful i don't know that's a random story that somebody needed to hear moving on okay you are a giver you give a lot to people but a lot of the times you need to make sure that you're taking time for rest and recuperation you guys have a big 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 mission and you know it and you know you need to prioritize your sleep some of you guys you need to figure out a way to fix your sleep schedule I get it because you know with me it's like sometimes I um you know my mind it gets a little overactive and I was talking about this in another reading I did and I was like recently instead of like you know reliving the day like especially when I was younger I would like reenact such scenarios that happened and like how I would want it to go right but instead of doing that how about we just create scenarios that we want to happen instead instead of reliving things that we can't reenact like there's no way that I can do whatever I did in my imagination besides in my imagination I'm still reliving and feeling that pain might as well you know use that energy towards something that I would want to manifest you know what I'm saying I guess like I don't know I hope that makes sense but yeah keep your boundaries strong there is somebody and look we have honey your intuition is telling you that somebody is it says oh so beautifully lethal <laughs> so somebody sex magic came through too yeah because you're taking back your power and this may be ending a connection or some certain connections around you you may have turned your back on people these people are are pretty upset and they see that you have breaking you have broken the bounds that were holding you back and you're stepping in your power someone's watching your social media or some people are watching your social media maybe you took a break and stopped posting and they see that you're posting again and um 
they're like upset that maybe you're not messaging them even though you're posting they're like this person's out of hermit or like this person's posting again why aren't they hitting me up or like you know this person has time to post content but they're not like or post pictures or hang out with this person but they're not hanging out with me so just know that somebody's gonna try and bring the drama like i said <sighs> you don't need to entertain it be compassionate you know but at the end of the day we do have boundaries here and what does it say? Boundaries are sewn into the parts of who you are for they are not to be crossed, okay? Do not allow this person to cross your boundaries because I feel like this person or whoever this was, they've crossed it many times. This is a situation that you need to end, okay? This person may be very demanding <laughs> or entitled or they may like try to make guilt trip you. You know, don't do it. Don't, five, 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 don't do it. Please don't do it, okay? Releasing the cords. It says releasing the cords. Unafraid of the presence, releasing the cords. I call her in. I call her in deeply within. Yeah. Sit within yourself. Really get to, like, you've been in solitude. You're okay with being by yourself. But yes, it's, it's, me it's time for you to put yourself back out there. But not to whoever this person was. Not to whoever this person was. Whoever this person was that, you know, you were cool with and stuff and you spent a lot of time with them. They may be obsessed with you or you were obsessed with them. They're going to come in because, you know, this is the type of person who was like, you were on their time <laughs> and their time alone. They were very much controlling and demanding. So, but you're the one who's the sun god. You're the one who is the one who's very powerful. You're the one who did the work. This person did not do the work. And, you know, be compassionate to them, of course, you know, because at a time you didn't, you didn't do the work either. You could be seeing 888 and 777, but, and 444 and 333, but I digress. <laughs> Definitely 333. You're heavily protected. You're heavily guided. You trusted your intuition. You took the necessary steps. You did what you needed to do. You released what you needed to release and you had faith in God and source. And, you know... You're not responsible for the people who can't keep up with you. You're not responsible for anyone else's journey. You lead by example, but you can't carry these people on your back up this mountain because then nobody's going to get to the top. They're responsible for themselves. You're not a camel. Hump day! No, I'm, <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I'm not sorry. But yeah, you're not a camel. Let's get into your tarot, though. Okay guys, it's time for you to make a solid plan, a solid daily and nightly routine, okay? In order to keep up with your mental health and your physical health and your emotional health, you have to have spiritual practices, physical practices, and mental practices, and emotional practices, whether you do them weekly, but I would recommend daily. You need a, a daily routine, okay? Whether it's, you know... Also, read the book Mir Miracle Morning that can help you very much so if you, or listen to the audio if you're not a reader, okay? Don't, no, okay? Don't tell me, oh, I don't read books. Fucking listen to the audio. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but I'm not sorry, okay? There's big emphasis on y'all need a daily routine, you need to have plans, and you need to have organization, okay? There's a lot of distractions that are going to be coming your way and you have to be able to plan your priorities and plan your you know the things that you need around them okay you can't get distracted right now you need to be brave and when i say brave it's like it's okay to say no to certain things and like especially because it's like okay you could have like because we have excitement we have celebrations and celebration okay yes you can go to certain parties and celebrations you know because you know you need to mingle, you may need to um, network. There's certain things that you know you need to do that involve other people, okay? And that's fine. And also, it's fun. You deserve to have fun. But you have to be balanced and you have to, you know, plan accordingly. Like, okay, well, if I go to this outing, I have to make sure that I get home so I have enough time to do my nightly routine. I'm hearing, like... Making sure that you get your face wash, face wash in. A lot of you guys are trying to clear your skin or, you know, I need to get my workout in every day or I need to, you know, there's certain things that you want to do 
okay especially if you're like you're working towards something just an hour a day okay i work on this an hour a day and then i'm getting closer to my goal but i still have time to you know go have fun go out do what i need to do go to the gym cook whatever clean the house you gotta make like a, a schedule a routine for you like okay every saturday i clean the whole house or like i clean uh monday i'll, I'll vacuum tuesday i i do this or or i do the laundry you know like i know you guys may not like structure and i get that because i don't either but also structure when i have structure when i have my daily routines and nightly routines when i wake up and i meditate and you know i do whatever i need to do and i practice my gratitude and i do my workouts or my qigong and whatever else i feel real good and i'm very productive and i have the energy to do everything that i need to do and want to do throughout the day but if I like roll out of bed and like I, you know, uh, I don't do my daily or nightly routine, I'm in this like, uh, like energy. So I don't know, somebody needed to hear that. But yeah, you have a lot of excitement and a lot of celebration and a lot of new opportunities coming your way. Look at my <laughs> yes it says new beginnings bitch and it says stability okay because i can't knock the fact that we do have the five of pentacles and um the five of swords here okay um we have completion too so you're closing out this cycle of insecurity and your success is going to be <clears throat> the revenge against these people from your past you had a lot of immature people from your past look at they're trying to block my, my throat chakra yeah a lot of people from your past that tried to make you feel incomplete and make you feel unhappy you let go of these people so again just be careful especially if you let go of people there's people who are going to try and come back in because we were talking about talking about boundaries earlier they're going to try and come back in to sabotage you distract you or make you feel insecure because that's their revenge like if you left them or you cut them off or you ghost them and they're upset and they want to be petty then that's the way that they're going to be petty okay so just be careful of that they're going to try and distract you you need to be <laughs> you need to stand firm with your boundaries okay what else but yeah if you have been feeling like you've been going through certain issues in regards to finance just know that it, it is changing because i do have the nine of pentacles and the star here a wish fulfillment in regards to comfort luxury and independence you being able to support yourself you being able to pay your bills on time and for yourself you being able to you know invest in <clears throat> to whatever it is that you want is coming in which is fulfilled okay continue to take inspired actions build yourself a daily routine and focus on feeling good now focus on positivity focus on celebrating the little things not just the big things you don't always have to celebrate the big things just because you know like when you wake up say thank you the big emphasis on you know using gratitude to shift your life right now you've done so much work and you already are shifting it but you have to stay consistent because the thing is is you guys you guys fluctuate you'll be doing so good and then like something happens something to cause distractions or make you feel bored or like you feel unfulfilled because you feel like you see everybody else like out partying and celebrating or this person just won the lottery this person has a car this person bought a house this person just got married so you're focused on the outside getting distracted by everyone else but you're not focusing on your inner power which is blocking you from manifesting okay but yeah, your wishes are going to be fulfilled, baby. As long as you move past these feelings of insecurity that people are going to try and project onto you and you try to stay happy and you build a solid daily routine to not get distracted, make sure you prioritize what you need to prioritize, get those things done, okay? It doesn't have to be like you get them done first thing. I highly recommend it though. But like you know or set up like a reward system like okay once i get this done then i can go out and party or i can go do this or i can treat myself to that whatever it is like a treat yourself kind of vibe after you complete whatever your goal is because then it'll help you to be highly motivated you know what i'm saying but yeah that's what i got for you pal number four i hope you have an amazing day night or whatever and i'll see you on the next one bye what up, pal number five? Last but never least, baby. These pals have been very interesting and intriguing. <laughs>
let's get it though we're gonna get your current NIG see if this is your pile of course you can pick another pile if you feel called to or watch another reading or carry about your merry way 111 for your merry day okay so let's get into it pile whoa things are a little chaotic or they were and they're finally getting organized okay or maybe you're struggling to get your your thoughts organized because there's just a lot of outside energy trying to influence you like oh you should believe this or you should do this maybe you have to a big decision to make and people are trying to like tell you what's right and what's wrong based off of them but <laughs> at the end of the day they kind of just have to allow you to do what you feel is right because at the end of the day you're the one who's going to make the choice but let's get your current energy <laughs> Pile five, current energy. Not all that. Yes, all that. No. Okay. Didn't think so. Okay. <laughs> One more. You guys are so strong. Oh my god. So pure. So innocent, and yet so powerful. You know what's crazy is you guys are a paradox. This is the paradox. Cause look, we have Avenger, right? We have Pioneer. And then we have these softer energies, child magical, and then virgin. But if you do see, like, the imagery of this, it's kind of just like, look it. They're both, like, so discontent, so, like, closed off, heart closed, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, look at that. So, I don't really know what that's about. Um, yeah, that could be, maybe that's how you were in the past, and now you're finally shedding that. You're ego death thing <laughs> you're going through an ego death that's what it is that's why that chaotic energy is coming through is you're going through an ego death you're releasing who you thought you were who society wanted you to be whether it was your parents teachers friends doesn't matter people were trying to make you believe that you were this way okay but now you're seeing that whatever you want can happen you're tapping into your skills. You're learning how to become more disciplined. You're learning how to, you know, move past certain things like pessimism, assuming the worst, depression and anxiety. You know, you're you're believing in miracles. You're understanding that you're the creator. And you're rebalancing yourself on all levels. And I do feel like you're reconnecting with your soul with your heart you could be opening your heart again maybe your heart was closed off because of whatever pain whatever tower moment whatever ego death happened to you it was tough ego deaths are not easy Re any death and rebirth is not easy death in general you could have actually had someone that you lost too and i'm sorry for that you know that is hard too and it takes time to heal from that and you know you did and you are healing and I feel like you're stepping into this new beautiful self but you're still a little closed off but you're learning how to open up your heart again and you're learning to chase your passions again and you're starting to get more active more motivated and you're starting to go after your dreams and goals with like a vengeance I guess you can say but not really it's just like you're just tunnel vision right now so if that resonates at all then stick around let's get into your oracles okay pile number five you're closing out a cycle with multiple people okay there's a lot of people involved here you are closing out a cycle with who you thought you were. You're closing out a cycle maybe with friends, maybe with a job, maybe even with a lover. And I feel like, you know, you've invested a lot. You've put a lot of work into this. And now it's like, go where you're celebrated. Because look at this. She got the scissors, baby. She's cutting the cords. And we have letting go. It's like... You need to devote, go where you're celebrated. And if no one's celebrating you, celebrate yourself. Okay, because we have self-worship. Which is giving like, you know, maybe you need to do some mirror work. But also it's like focusing on self-love, self-care. Seeing your beauty within and without. And, you know, 
sitting within stillness in nature. You don't have to fear anything. You're protected and you will always be protected. Okay? It doesn't matter about who, you know, you let go or what they do after you let go of them. That's their business. You're going to be protected. Highly protected. The right connections are on their way to you. But only when you cut the cords to the ones that don't serve you anymore. You understand and you know that life flows and certain things wash up from sea. And those things that wash up from sea, you need to let go because that's it. They're on the sand. You can no longer reach them. And for you to, you know, reach them, that's when the high tide happens, which is the full moon, high emotions. It'll be an emotional process for you. I know that, like, the way I just said that was very, like, but I feel like you guys understand. You know what I'm saying? It's just kind of like something is washed up. Whatever this is that you're letting go, whatever cycles that you have just closed out, they're washed up. <laughs> and it's like, you have a big vision. You have a big purpose. And look, we have breaking free, too. Yeah, this is dope. These were the changes that you needed to make in order to open your heart. Because look, her heart is like lighting up. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah. You weren't really seeing your... You didn't... When you were around certain situations, it was like you were only showing half of yourself. You were only living to half of your potential. And now, because of the fact that you're letting go, you're awakening to your true potential and you are growing you're growing within your connection to yourself you're balancing your divine feminine and your divine masculine and you're standing and stepping into your power yeah your circle may have gotten small maybe it even is solo right now and this is only temporary it's messages coming to you to let you know that your peeps are coming these are people that you're going to grow old with these are people that you know, will help you, support you, not mock you when you're in pain or belittle you. I don't know why I'm getting that, you know, or telling you to man up or woman up or whatever it is. I don't know, because I do feel like maybe some of you guys are super emotional with all this water and the people, they didn't really support you. And thus, maybe you bottled up a lot of things or you never felt safe enough to you know express your emotions or to tell people things because you felt maybe you would get betrayed or something like that or judged or whatever and now it's like that's breaking free because you're reconnecting or connecting with my, my bad connecting with people who really get you you know and more people are coming in because you're letting go of those who are not going to those who are not a firm foundation in your circle okay let's get into your tarot okay guys there's something that you are missing okay you don't need to fight anymore life doesn't need to be a fight things are gonna get a lot easier okay you may have been having trouble sleeping going through a lot of anxiety a lot of negative thoughts a lot of mental anguish okay because you went through this tower moment. And the thing about this tower moment that happened to you is you don't really see clearly why it happened. It happened to release you from this lack mentality. It helped for you to realize that you, you've been searching for happiness outside of yourself. You, have, you're, you feel as though that your happiness depends on others whether it's a relationship whether it's on validation from others there's big emphasis on like you need validation from others you need others to be happy with what you are doing and you you this happened because that's that's not no mm -mm, mm -mm. as above so below as within so without a lot of y'all already know that. If you don't, welcome. Hi. <laughs> Your inner reality dictates what happens to you in your outer reality. And 
you want to manifest travel you want to manifest excitement you have a lot of goals dreams and aspirations and most of all you want to manifest happiness stability safety and a connection a lot of you guys want to get married you want like real love you want the the house the picket fence the dog the kids you know the, you want the whole nine yards you want the, the big wedding and all that stuff and that's fine it'll happen but it's not going to come in until you accept and process what you need to process through this tower moment okay the happiness is coming don't get me wrong you are manifesting it but you're not you're missing the point you're missing the point there's something that you there's like it's a mindset okay it's a mindset it's like if i don't have this then i'll never be happy which i did maybe some of y'all came from another pile the thing is is though happiness is an inside job it's your responsibility to make yourself happy no one else can make you happy and that's the thing i had to realize and another thing is is that people outside of you will try to make you unhappy and the only thing because <laughs> it's a quote that this guy said um in princess diaries out of all movies which you know movies always have a lot of good quotes so i, I take that back but he said no one can i don't know what it was it was something like no one can make you feel anything without your consent so there's big emphasis on like you give your power away to people easily if they do something to piss you off you get you get triggered really easily and you're not seeing that like you don't have to let the actions of others because you can't control anybody but yourself and you know this because you don't let nobody try to control you am i right so you got to think of it as a two-way street yes it's about balance yes it's about compromise but also you really got to focus on your inner worlds when you control your inner world you master your inner world everything in your outer world falls into place you can you can continue to to try and control people try and tell people what to do but when you work from manifesting your vibration raising your vibration everything starts to just fall into place when you're happy things just make you more happy but if you're getting upset and you're allowing things that don't work out to make you upset you're going to man it's like it's like you know when you have a bad day and then you're freaking you're running late to work you're you drop your keys and then your key your, your hoodie or your shirt gets caught on the door handle and then you just start getting it's just like you know it's going to be a bad day once you start seeing yourself going down that path you need to use gratitude you need to do something or or awareness because once you're aware of it like oh shit i'm spiraling oh shit i'm letting my emotions control me or i'm letting outside circumstances control me instead you know you need to come back within focus on your heart center place your hand on on your heart and feel that power within you understand that this is a simulation this is an energy manifestation this is an energy world and that's why there's so many different things going on everything is as it's supposed to be but the thing is which spectrum do you want to be on we have free will that's why there is negativity that's why there is destruction and that's why there is oppression and stuff like that there is still free will at the end of the day you know god is here the universe everything is as it should be but it's about belief but it's about energy you know and i just feel like certain people you know, i believe in uh life paths and stuff like that and reincarnation or whatever so that's you know another story but you know because i was just thinking about, i don't know this is a random thought like people who do bad shit in a past life when they come back that's the those are the people who have a really shitty life or who are born like you know or like you know just have it really tough because they did some fucked up shit in their past life that's just one random scenario or a random thought you know what i'm saying and then those who had um did really good work 
you know they were born into like a pri privileged family or whatever you know they had it easy since childhood because they did all the hard work you know they they completed all the lessons but i digress <laughs> that's besides the point that's not what we're here to talk about at the end of the day there's big emphasis on when you start to be happy and you know you don't base your happiness on financial gains or relationships or you know material things like if you allow like you know the fact that like you lost something or you your favorite like jewelry broke or something like that and you get upset and it's the end of the world then you know you're going to manifest more things that are going to make you just that upset because you're sending out that signal the holder you, the the longer you hold that negative signal the more negativity you attract but the longer you hold feelings of positivity and gratitude and release the anxiety and depression by staying grounded or doing whatever you can to improve your mental health whether it's meds whether it's meditation whatever works for you eating healthier drinking more water there's things everyone has their own thing i don't knock whatever you use or whatever you do as long as it works for you and it's not detr detrimental <laughs> To your health you know what i'm saying but at the end of the day you do have to focus on your own cup fill your own cup love yourself and then everything will fall into place keep your vibration high you'll become a master manifester people will be thinking like how the hell is this guy a witch or a wizard like how the hell are they doing it and it's because you're not doing it your energy is working for you okay but anyway <laughs> Y'all believe in like the conspiracy theories and shit like that, huh? You guys are the mystical, magical, sci-fi vibe. <laughs> I love you guys. I hope you have an amazing day, night, or whatever. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.